Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian and today we're gonna talk about the cheapest gaming laptop with a 12th gen Intel CPU on board, 2022 Lenovo IdeaPad 3i King. The best offer on the market on this device is linked in the description box below. I monitor the most popular stores and websites almost 24-7 so if after watching this video you decide that this one is perfect for your needs, make sure to follow that link and save some money. So the most intriguing thing about this laptop is obviously its insanely powerful processor, which is even more powerful than my last year's favorite Intel i7 11800H. I was really curious how it performed in games and other activities, and I gotta say I am very impressed to see this kind of performance in a $1000 budget. If you're new to the 12th gen Intel processors and not aware of why they stand out, let me explain. The best thing about them is that unlike any other processors, they pack two types of cores, efficiency cores and performance cores. It's called a hybrid design and the system can use different cores on demand. Efficiency cores are less powerful, they have lower clock speeds as well as lower consumption of power, meaning your battery will last longer. These cores are used when you do something simple like scrolling through web pages or watching a movie. And performance cores are obviously more powerful, rocking at higher frequencies and drowning the battery faster. The laptop enables them when you're into something heavy, for example 3D design, coding or gaming. Now the graphics card is pretty powerful as well, although it's pretty much the same as the previous generation model packs. It is an RTX 3050 GPU and it is an 85 watts version. It showed nice results last year and we're gonna get to this year's laptop gaming test a bit later in this video. Talking about memory, there is a single 8GB DDR4 type RAM playing pre-installed, so I do recommend upgrading it ASAP to enable the dual channel mode. I'll leave a link to some suitable RAM upgrade kits in the description box below so you can order it along with the laptop or at least learn the specs so you know what to look for. And honestly, I'd wish they selected DDR5 random access memory for this laptop and maybe they'll do that for a max out configuration cause that i5-12500H and i7-12700H processors totally support a 4800MHz DDR5 standard RAM which is much faster and it steps up the overall experience dramatically. But those configurations are not available for the purchase yet and I couldn't find any info about them online as well. All I know is that they're going to have a much better screen because the one my unit has is an absolute garbage. It's traditional for cheap gaming laptops, right? They've got to sacrifice something to bring those price tags lower. But the cool thing is that they did go for a 4th gen solid state drive support. There is a 512GB M2 TLC SSD pre-installed and there is an empty PCIe slot for a quick upgrade. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, you know where to find the links to the tastiest offers on that piece of hardware. By the way, also check my Twitter and Telegram pages for a daily dose of the best offers on tech. And now, we've got to the most interesting part of the video for a lot of you, the gaming test. I'm sure you want to know how the numbers have changed compared to the previous year RTX 3050 model, so here they are. All games were tested with the graphics settings set to medium preset at full HD resolution. I think it'll give you the best understanding of what this machine is capable of and in my judgment the results are really high, especially if we glance at its price tag again. That CPU and the storage class improvements made a huge impact which entailed around 15% higher frame rates in games without significant changes in temperatures. I've never seen GPU go above 80 degrees and the CPU stayed at around 75 degrees under loads. Frankly speaking, everything else about the laptop remains almost the same. Yes, they did refresh the back of the laptop to fit bigger exhaust holes, now in a blue finishing, it gives a kind of futuristic look to it, my unit is in black color and I think those blue inserts look even better on a white chassis. The build quality is great, it doesn't creak or bend, it feels premium. Oh, and also they added this IdeaPad gaming logo on the edge of the lid. And I don't mind it, I think it looks nice. Talking about weight and thickness of the machine, it is still kind of compact, weighing 2.3 kilograms and being just under 22 millimeters thick. Now it seems to me that the keyboard remains unchanged. It still features this nice and elegant white backlighting and a maxed out version will probably get one with the RGB backlighting, but I really like it in white. 
The selection of ports has honestly surprised me. To be more specific, I like how they are placed. This year, they decided to move all rarely reached ports to the back of the device and they left an audio jack and a couple of type A USBs on a side. Really a smart move. It also supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. Speeds are high and the connections are stable, so you don't have to worry about staying portable. However, talking about the battery life, unfortunately it's not very long lasting. I'm talking 4.5 hours working in a mixed usage and around 6.5 hours watching Netflix. These numbers are totally acceptable for a gaming laptop and also it will do the job if you like to work from a cafe or a park. Ladies and gentlemen, I honestly like this laptop. Its only flaw is its screen and it is very well balanced in every other aspect. I definitely recommend it for the purchase and I think it is a perfect machine for those who are seeking to get the best performance in this budget. If you're into graphic design, video editing or any other kind of creative activity, make sure to get yourself a nice and vibrant monitor along with this laptop. And trust me, this thing is a great suit for building a full-size game or work setup, it has all the makings for that. By the way, it is also capable of live streaming games and I'm talking about heavy games like GTA 5. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the video, I hope you like it. Once again, make sure to check the description box below, there's a lot of useful info and links there. You can save money and learn more about the product. Also check my Twitter and Telegram pages, I post the best Amazon offers and discounts on a daily basis there. Laptops, mice, monitors, TVs and so on. I'll be glad to see you as a part of our community and see you in the next video.